One of the greatest benefits of widget testing is that we can test our different widgets and components in isolation without needing to launch the whole application. In consequence, our tests can be much more focused, faster, and our code base will be much more modular, developer friendly, and easy to maintain over time. Continuing with our calculator project, we're going to apply this principle to the two digit operation widget. We're going to test it without having to use the previous calculator app widget at all. To do so, we already have a two digit operation test.dart file under the project test folder. Widget testing in isolation does not differ from the approach that we've already learned. The only difference will be that the object under test is simply not the same. The first step will be to pump our widget under test using pump widget. Our two digit operation widget has two dependencies in its constructor, the calculator object and the operation enum. Since we will probably need to build a calculator object for multiple tests, we can extract its creation to the setup method of our test. After that, we're going to use the enter text method of the tester to enter our desired input, in this case, three and one. Before we can assert the result, we need to pump and settle, so the result can be painted on the screen. Finally, our expectation is that we can find one widget on the screen whose test says is 4.0. Let's run this test for a second. As we can see, it fails. The error message is quite verbose, but super helpful. As we can see, it says that a text field needs to be a child of a material widget. To solve this problem, we simply wrap our widget under a material app and a scaffold widget. And after that, we should solve our problem. 